Hey there, it's Stephen Gardner. Uh, I tried to go live tonight and YouTube was having major issues. I don't know if it was something I was saying or if it was bad internet connection, but either way, I have recorded the video. I'm going to put it up again. Uh, if you're being sent this twice, I apologize. Don't unsubscribe. Uh, but I wanted the rest of the 800,000 people in my community to get this message. So without further ado, here it is. Hello and welcome to today's February 2nd, third stimulus check package update and trending news. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now for all the best updates, trending news, and smart money tips. All right, now today started the new $2,000 giveaway that my wife and I are doing. That will end on February 15th. Uh, based on overwhelming feedback from the community, uh, my wife and I, this time, will be helping 10 families with $200 each, or 10 people. Uh, you don't have to be married or have kids, so 10 people. Uh, and you can use the money however you want. I will make sure to leave a link below. Uh, also, I just wanted to thank my community for always liking and sharing my videos. It really means a lot to me. Now, word coming out of the White House is that President Biden, hearing the 10 Republican senators wanting a smaller stimulus package and smaller stimulus check for less people, was more of a formality than a serious move. It is believed the Democrats uh, will not come down in size from the $1.9 trillion stimulus package or move off of the $1,400 stimulus check um, because it would make them look bad, right? Like they've already put it out there. They've made promises. Uh, some of those, you know, they're kind of uh, justifying, but either way, it would make them look bad at this point to change gears. Um, if they did come down, it is believed that it would really just be a move to add less debt under President Biden's presidency while having a great excuse for blaming Republicans for a smaller package. Uh, my personal belief is that we'll probably see the bigger package with the $1,400 stimulus checks. Uh, the truth is that you and I are pawns in a really nasty chess game. Now, the meeting uh, between President Biden and the 10 senators took place last night. It lasted just over two hours, um, and uh, mostly people said that it was polite, uh, but not much else was said. Uh, only one of the 10 Republican senators invited uh, made a comment about President Biden and the meeting. Senator Collins essentially said it was a good meeting, and there are plans for us to meet again for further discussions of, of the topic. Also, President Biden said he will be reaching out to meet with Senator Joe Manchin. Senator Manchin right now is the only Democrat senator that is opposed to this large stimulus package. He said his worry isn't the checks for the people. His worry is the $1.9 trillion price tag after having just passed $900 billion. Uh, now, maybe you could let me know in the comments um, and, and I know that this is wishful thinking, but wouldn't it be nice if they just gave 150 million of us the $1.9 trillion? Uh, I did the math on that, and each American would receive $12,666. Now, you can't tell me that that wouldn't end the financial crisis, lift people out of poverty, out of poverty and kick off reopening the economy. But I don't know why they don't think this way, right? They'd rather send money to foreign countries or pet projects. Now, right now, it seems that the biggest hangup with the next stimulus package is the $300 billion for state and local government funding. Uh, many Republicans do not want to see money go to this. Um, however, it will most likely be approved. And, and here's my thinking, right? Uh, the states that need the most help are California, Oregon, Illinois, New Jersey, Michigan, and New York, okay? These are also heavily Democratic states. So if the Democrats control the House, the Senate, and the presidency, why wouldn't they push this through and help out those Democrat blue states, right? So 
I, I don't know that it's going to be a hangup, but right now I'm just letting you know in the news, that seems to be the biggest hangup. Um, to me, this seems like squabbling and not leadership and back and forth and not progress, but it is what it is. This is the news. All right. Although, uh, regardless of, of whether you are a Democrat or a Republican, if they cut stimulus checks to give money to the local state and local government, uh, I think you're going to see tens of millions of Americans super, super upset for being cheated out of that stimulus check that they were promised. Now, the $300 versus $400 federal unemployment boost does not seem to be as heated a topic as it was in July, as most people want to get back to work, and each passing month, there should be less and less people on unemployment. So I think we will see that $400 uh, per week federal unemployment boost, uh, but we will, we will see. Uh, right, as of right now, it looks like the big hangup is how much should we do in stimulus and how much should we do in state and local government funding, right? Now, regarding the stimulus package, President Biden said, I support passing COVID relief with support from Republicans if we can get it, but the COVID relief has to pass no ifs, ands, or buts, he says. Last night, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer each filed a budget resolution in the House and the Senate, moving them one step closer to being able to use one of their nine reconciliation votes if necessary. Yesterday, Senator Schumer, as Majority Leader, publicly rejected the new smaller stimulus package from the 10 Republican senators, citing that it didn't do enough to help the American people, and so therefore it will not go to the Senate floor for a vote. Schumer said, they should negotiate with us, not make a take it or leave it offer. Nancy Pelosi said that she will bring the budget resolution to the House of Representatives floor tomorrow and call for a vote. It is assumed that this will vote this vote will pass in the affirmative with flying colors as Democrats control the House. The budget resolution will then pass to the Senate for a vote. However, Chuck Schumer has not scheduled the time for the budget resolution to be voted on and appears to now be focusing on impeaching former President Donald Trump. Now, as a reminder to those in the community that are small business owners, self-employed, or gig workers, you can now apply for the PPP money and the EIDL loan grant money. Last year, uh, or excuse me, later this year, a home COVID test will be available for those that want to test at home for around $30. The U.S. government is seeking to spend $230 million of taxpayer money to make these tests available across the country. Uh, as of right now, it is uh, believed that they have around a 95% accuracy rate. In trending news, the GameStop and AMC run-ups seem to be losing air fast. Uh, GameStop, that rose to $468 per share, closed today at $95.50. Woo! Big drop. AMC, which was run up to $19.88, closed out today at $8.09, losing about half of its value. And although it was fun uh, to watch, uh, I think these groups were able to stick it to a few wealthy people and hedge funds. But sadly, uh, many regular everyday Americans that jumped in on this will be stuck with those losses in order to stick it to the man. Uh, this is why I recommended caution. I just didn't see this as being sustainable. Now, later this week, I'll be sharing a few stocks with you that uh, I believe will have uh, stable and solid growth over, over the coming years. So I'll make sure to share that with you. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos announced today that he will step down to focus on other areas of his life that he is passionate about. Tesla CEO announced today that he will be leaving Twitter for a while. It's not clear why, but might have something to do with the failed uh, Mars rocket launch today or the busyness of his schedule. This is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely share more. Before you go, make sure to click on that link to go be one of the 10 winners of the $200. Uh, 
Again, that will end on February 15th. As I wrap up, I wish to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.